Cairo was rocked by three explosions Friday that appeared to target the police, including a suicide truck bombing, killing five people and injuring dozens, authorities said. The first blast happened outside a downtown Cairo police building at about 6.30 a.m. This was Mohamed Ibrahim, Minister of the Interior for Egypt, at the scene. There was no immediate claim of responsibility. Friday's explosions appear to mark a sharp escalation in a sustained campaign of insurgent attacks since the military ousted Egypt's first freely elected president last July. The ongoing anti-government protests in Ukraine began as a peaceful rally in Kiev's Independence Square in late November, after President Viktor Yanukovych appeared to be forging a closer alliance with Russia instead of tighter ties with the European Union. Now, as WSJ's James Marson reports, clashes have grown fiercer between riot police and demonstrators. Protesters have adopted more confrontational tactics in recent days, including setting barricades of burning tires, hurling Molotov cocktails, and shooting fireworks. Thursday night saw protesters firing bottle rockets into government buildings as part of an attempt to occupy them. Elsewhere in the country, protesters have managed to take over government buildings, barricade them, and prevent government employees from entering. Riot police have cracked down with rubber bullets, detentions, and freezing water cannons. At least three protesters have died, two from bullet wounds. Accusations of brutality have also been leveled against police after videos surfaced showing a detained protester being held by police naked outside in freezing temperatures as the police took photos. This is the Foreign Bureau, WSJ's global news update.